in a similar vein, but kind of a lot different as well, we've got Philip DeFranco. This guy founded DeFranco Elite as well as the Philip DeFranco Show, where he talks about news on a Monday through Friday basis. Um, since I've gotten into him, Monday through Thursday have been talking about news, and then the Friday show has been him replying to people's comments throughout the week on different videos. And that's where I get most of my news, to be completely honest with you. Philip DeFranco fills me in, and the, he says that, and I love that because it's a hilarious pun. His name is Phil, and he says, you've just been filled in. So I definitely love that, and he's not totally center on everything, but he tries to say, here's what I think about things before he gives his views, and initially tells you what the facts of everything are very unbiasedly so i really appreciate that and he's got great news he's got a great personality and he knows how to tell you about the important things in ways that you care about you can tell that he's not as biased as the normal media so let's check out a little bit of philip defranco and the second part of your question all right so are you gonna get married oh That's a, that's a picky situation. I don't know. Let's start today off in Tampa, Florida, where a 26-year-old Tampa woman punched a horse in the neck. And since we're talking about jail, let's talk about the son of the governor in Kansas. Now, he's not going to jail yet, but he is making a board game that's based on prison. The board game's called Don't Drop the Soap, and you get to do cool things like survive prison riots and kill mob bosses with shards of glass. I can really just picture it now like, ha ha, you rolled a six, who's getting savagely raped in the shower? You! Right. You look like Aladdin if he was white and gay. Why, why, why? Why everyone's saying I look gay? If anything, I look like a lesbian. Why I don't wear glasses anymore? This plus a dress shirt, no bueno for me. Whoa, Philly D, the 90s call, they want their lesbian back. You look like a lesbian who just found out the Ellen show got canceled. <laughs> You look like the lead singer of a lesbian punk band. Who wore it better, Philip DeFranco or Ellen DeGeneres? I'm gonna see if there's an outfit where she looks similar. Oh wow, like literally every picture. That's like the same outfit. Your hand is so embarrassed of your clothes it left. Wait, are you colorblind? Well, Am I, mean, I colorblind? These, <laughs> these you could say are either orange or yellow. I mean, depending on how you look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe you were just like slowly going crazy. That's the new uh, what color just... is this dress. Oh yeah. I'm, I got irrationally angry. I think everyone got irrationally angry about that stupid dress. I thought that dress would be more popular at events. I really did. <laughs> I thought for like a year we were going to see people ironically wearing that dress to like red carpets and stuff. I feel like they had to like burn it. Well, there's Daniel and then there's the guy that was like, damn. There's a damn Daniel. And so he's the guy <laughs> that's just always there. And I always forget. I'm like, oh yeah, you. That's right. See, it's just funny too because I'm fascinated by that. I'm sure the damn Daniel guy. Back again with Dwight Vans. I'm sure he's like, this is all my stuff. And it's like, I wonder if damn Daniel feels like he's outside the limelight. Ooh. Because Daniel's getting all the press because he's Daniel. But it's really the damn Daniel kid saying it. That's what everybody watched that thing for. If we, if, if they don't, if it doesn't spiral out of control, I feel like a Lifetime movie does need to be based around that. And that in a murder scene, he goes, damn Daniel. And then he pulls the trick. <laughs> Moving right along, we've got Drew. Erickson. Now, I did an interview with him. It's in three parts. You can check that out on my channel. But he runs the Telos of Network. What he thought was that YouTube channels had all kinds of random content, which I'm pretty guilty of. They had food reviews. They had video gaming. They had movie reviews and talk. They had technology things. They had just all kinds of random things. And he thought why are they doing all this on one channel? I'm subscribing to channels because I want to see a specific kind of content when they're posting all this random stuff. Then my subscription box is a bunch of things from them that I don't want to see, so I'm not going to subscribe. Now that's cool because he then went out and created a Taylor network that's all run by him and his friends. And one channel is movie reviews, one channel is food, one channel is tech, and that's the biggest channel. One channel is gaming and it just goes on he's got a lot of different channels and one's music it's just never ending 
As soon as he thinks of something, he's probably gonna start a new channel once one gets over a thousand subscribers. He's a little bit smaller except for his tech channel, which has 50 something thousand subscribers. That's really cool. And like I said, I got to do an interview with him. He's a really, really cool guy. And I love watching the Telos of Network. I'm really enjoying Telos of Food. I hope that continues, even though it was a bit of a joke. And now it's like a joke in real life. So keep that up, Drew, if you watch this at all. And let's check him out. This is actually the worst. Hey, Nick, how's it going? My mom, she's in the, she's in the hospital right now. She was in a car accident. So. Keep smiling. That wouldn't count as violence, would it? It would fall under the realm of tragedy. Oh god, that's that's awful. Don't say God, that can count as a curse. <laughs> Whoops. I'm really scared for my mom right now. W would you like to make another episode of Talos of Food? I need some more bleach. Quite a few people are afraid to admit that, but it's true. There's nothing else more humiliating than being that green guy in your contacts list. When all of your friends have iPhones and they're all texting each other and everyone's blue except you, that's embarrassing. No, I, I seriously hate your room. It is the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, hey, come on. This, this room is awesome. We got TV, good speakers, my fan, my number one fan. No, this, this is not your room. This is an attic. That's why it's always hot in here. Yeah, I know, but this is the only room in the house we can have privacy because the house, the top floor was built weird. It's like room, room, room. There was no hallway involved. I don't know why. Well, also the paint's weird too. It's green, it's gross. You know why I always leave in the middle of a conversation? It's because this room makes me uncomfortable. It's terrible. I thought I made you uncomfortable. Well, yes, that is, that is also true, but that's not the only thing. It's always, you know, the low ceilings. It's always hot in here. You got the gross baby vomit colored walls and the window, the freaking window. Always bugs coming in. Bugs are not always getting in. There's a wasp on that window as we speak. Well, Wyatt, your room is tiny. How are we supposed to hang out in there? We're not supposed to, that's why I like it. Welcome to Talos of Tech, everyone. Today we have very special guest, Marquez Brownlee. How's it going? Um, wh why is your wall so green? And finally, we have another Drew. You may have seen this guy on America's Got Talent. He got hit in the throat with a softball and now has a stutter, totally legit, and he has a service dog, so he does a YouTube channel with him and his dog, and his stutter's getting better, and he's just hilarious. He's a comedian. He got second place on America's Got Talent, and his YouTube channel just cracks me up every time I watch a video. I, I will admit I don't watch every single one of his videos, but the ones I do watch are usually really, really funny, and his comedy acts are even more funny. If nothing else, check out his America's Got Talent sets because they're just hilarious. He got the golden buzzer, he's so good. Let's check out Drew Lynch. I would, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get to, to where people start, start to use my, my, my voice as, as, as the voice of their G, G, GPS. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, in, in, in one, one, one thousand, a thousand, a thousand feet, man, man, make a, make, make, make a, 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 a you, you, you turn. <laughs> Your your des, des, destination is 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 ahead of you on the on the on the on the right. Oh, oh, oh re, 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 Oh, oh, you 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 turn. Oh, 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 re, 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 re. You 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 turn. You 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 turn. You. Like I did a sh show one time where 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 a guy stood up and it's like, hey. You, you you can't just make make fun of disabilities. Just because you you ha have one. I was, I was like, I was like, well, did, 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 I, did I, I stutter? <laughs> Hi, hi everybody! Welcome, welcome to well, welcome to another episode of dog, 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 dog Vlog. I am comedian Drew, Drew Lynch. I have a, a, a stutter. This is my dog Stella, and she's 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 got she's got she's got resting 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 bitch face. Do I stutter during sex? I don't. Know. <laughs>
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I never had sex with me. Do, do you think I'm just chatting? So anyway, then I, then, then I went to the, I went to the, I went to the store and they didn't ha have the oranges that was on sale that they used to. What are you saying th d d during sex? The siblings, huh? Oh, you're an, you're, you're an only child. Weird. What do you think my moans are like? Oh, super, super, super califragilistic. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is my top six YouTubers, my favorites, my inspirations, the ones who are motivating me to keep going with my YouTube channel. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hope you guys check some of these guys out if you haven't already, because I really love all of the content they make and they deserve all of the fame and subscribers, the communities they've got. They're great people, they make great content, and I love watching them. So anyways, guys, I'm Zach. Don't you do crack, and I will catch you in the future.